Hello! My name is Erica, and you are tuning into my May TBR. Woohoo! It's a whole. Can you believe it's already a new month tomorrow? I can't believe we're already in May. So, um, there's been a trend lately. I had really ambitious TBRs, and I've read maybe half of them. Um, but that's not changing. I have a really ambitious TBR again. Um, and it's really based in. I am the just. I am so determined to read through the series that I'm like in the middle of um, this year. The Vizzy Jace, that's what I want to do. I do. I just, uh, oh, there's so many series that I started years ago that I haven't read yet. And still, I have to say, um, if you watched last month or even the month before, I think it's been three months now that the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, the Inheritance Cycle, that's the Aragon series, the one, uh, Lovely Dragons and Dragon Riders and all that, that came out, you know, ten years ago or so. Um, that has been on my list for months, and I still haven't picked it up, and it's still at the bottom of my TBR pile, and it is not on my May TBR right now. Um, there are books that I really just, I'm in my head right now, like, I want to read these, right, like, if I can read all of the books at once, these are the books I would read. So these are the ones that are my May TBR this year, um, they are what I, what I am this year, this month, that sounds better, they're what I really, 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 really want to get to this month, um, and I'm hoping I do that. So, <clears throat> the first book. Um, actually, the first and the second book that I want to read in May are uh, the one I currently just started, which is When Twilight Burns by Colleen Gleason and As Shadows Fade by Colleen Gleason. Can we just pause for one second? I bought this on Amazon in the marketplace. Now, when you buy stuff in the marketplace on Amazon, you always risk like people not explaining it correctly. But So this was described as good condition with no markings or stickers or anything. It's an old library book. It's got stickers all over it. I actually took off like 10 of them. Now, mind you, uh, these are ones that like I read and then pass off. I actually found somebody else that's reading the series that I just asked them if they want this one when I'm done with it too. Um, but I just, like, <laughs> that's not, anyway. But this one's beautiful. I don't even, I think I paid less for this one than I did this one. Go figure. But anyway, so as Shouse Fade by Colleen Gleason. Um, these are the fourth and the fifth in the Gardella Vampire Chronicles series, um, which is the Victoria part of that series. She's got another part of the series that's a different character that uh, I might pick up because I like her so much, but I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, so those are the first two I'm reading because I am, if you watched my wrap up, from, if you haven't watched my wrap up from April, go ahead because I'll tell you all about what these are about. Um, I started reading these in March because of Ben at Benjamin Tones. It was Part of, it was the Read with Ben pick for March, and uh, the first one in the series, which you can still get free on Kindle right now, or Google Play, or Nook, or anything. Like every single place you can get an ebook, you can get Rise of the Night. I mean, not Rise of the Night. The Rest Falls Away. The Rest Falls Away um, by Colleen Gleason for free. Uh, it's everywhere for free still. Um, at least it keeps popping up that way. But uh, and it's an excellent read. It's really good, and it'll hook you into the series most likely, like me. Um. So yeah, I started reading these in March. It's now May, and I'm at the end of this series. This is the end of this particular series, um, which makes me really happy because that means I read the whole series. Yay! And I only did it in a couple months, and it's so good. So yeah, so I'm currently reading this one, and then I'm going to move right on to this one, I'm sure, because they keep ending with crazy cliffhangers, and I don't like sitting around waiting, trying to figure out what's going to happen next. I, I want to know now. And since I have the book tangibly available right now, I can do that. So that's that. Those are the first two books I want to read in May. The next book I want to read in May, and I may um, do it either, I, I think I'm going to have to read them at the same time, um, only because I'm reading this as part of uh, one of the Goodreads groups I'm in, which is the uh, 2015 Challenge group. Um, they do a thing called TBR Twins every uh, month, and I signed up for it, and so my twin and I decided we wanted to read The Wizard of Oz. Well, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by Frank Elbaum. So... L. Frank Baum. I said it backwards. <laughs> L. Frank Baum. Um, and so I have these beautiful, I mean, gorgeous. How pretty are these? These are books that literally I'm reading, and then they're going in my little, my little pack away box with all the stuff that I keep because they're so beautiful. And I have to get more. I have volume one and I have volume two, but there are I think six volumes altogether because there's like fourteen books total in the Oz series because. L. Frank Baum just went crazy and wrote a whole mess of books. I don't know. But anyway, so my twin and I decided that we were going to read Wonderful Wizard of Oz. And then we decided that since 
it seems like, I mean, like, this whole, this is three books, and it's 500, it's a little over 500 pages. That's three books, I mean, because they're originally children's books. So, um, it's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, The Marvelous Land of Oz, and Ozma of Oz are in the first collection here, and we decided we're going to read those in May. Um, so we decided we're reading two chapters a day, so I'm definitely going to be reading this while I read, um, whatever else I'm reading, just because, uh, that'll work, because two chapters a day, probably. I don't know. It depends on if that's going to fill me. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but this isn't one, because this book is so beautiful and lovely, I don't really want to carry this around with me back and forth to work, so I think this is going to be home reading, and then I can carry around my lovely little paperback set of it in my, the crook of my arm all nice and heavy, because I can't bring bags to work. Did I tell you that? My new job, I can't bring bags to work with me. Do you know how hard it is for a person like me that carries around a lot of stuff? I can't use my purse. I can't use other... Like, yeah, just clear bags. If anybody watching this knows where I can find a clear bag that I, is of small, you know, not huge, big enough that I can tuck it into a little cubby, um, big enough that it holds a bunch of stuff, but small enough that I can tuck it into a little cubby. If you know where I can find one of those, could you just let me know? Leave a link down below, leave a comment. I don't know. I cannot, I can't even think of where to find one, so, yeah. So the next book I would like to read in May, so I'm going to read those three, and then... Well, those three books in the Oz collection, and then the two for my reasons. Next book I'd like to read, because um, I still have stacks of stuff I borrowed from other people, and it makes me nervous to have other people's books with me all the time. So um, I'm trying to get myself through some of those. And May is the month of a series, apparently, because every book I decided I really wanted to read is part of a series. So the next book I want to read in May is Enclave by Anne Agar. It's the first one in the... I never remember what this is called. Is it Razor, Razor Blade, Razor something, Razor something series? I don't remember. Um, Razor something. I feel like this is a book I'm gonna get through pretty quickly. It's um, it's a middle grade if I remember correctly, and I think, and and it's not telling me how many pages are in it, and and oh my god. It's one of those books that has like a thousand other things. Okay, so it's 259 pages. So that's not, it's not even 300 pages long. So I really feel like this is something that I can, oh, 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 okay. There we go. Now you can see it. Um, that I can get through pretty quickly. This is actually my niece's book. She's 13. She's awesome. She likes really cool books. She told me I would love this. So, um, it's the first in that series. So once I've read this one, I can borrow the next one from her, but I've had it now for a couple months and I haven't read it. And I just... I need to get it back to her so she can put it on her shelfy shelf. And then uh, I'll probably borrow the next one if it's as good as she said it was. Because she, she, like, flew through me as she loaned them. So. And my niece is, like, she reads, she loves to read to a point. <laughs> um, and if she's really into a series, she might read a little faster. But, like, we've already determined that I read double the speed that she does. And it's just, I do. I've always read fast. But anyway. So the fact that she flew through this means it's probably a really good read. And she, like, just went off on it telling me how great it was. So it sounds pretty cool. Um, if you haven't heard about this one uh, before, the other ones, I, you know, I'm guessing you've heard about Oz. And I have babbled my butt off on the Colleen Gleason one. But this one. Um, if you haven't heard about it before, I did talk about it in one of them, because I think it was in my wrap, my, not my wrap, but my, uh, TBR for last month, too, but I didn't get to it. Um, but it's about, it's about these, uh, kids that are, like, 15 years old, and at 15, they're either brats, or they're, um, I think they're, well, there's, there's three different, okay, they're brats until they're 15, and at 15, they're split up into groups, breeders, builders, or hunters. And then there are people that, like, everybody else calls freaks and stuff that just don't fit into the categories or whatever. It sounds pretty interesting, and it sounds very, um, you know, divergent Hunger Games-y. <laughs> like, just the way it is. It's like, it's like picking those two and squishing them together. I don't know, just in the description-wise. And the way that, uh, my niece was telling me about it, it was like, okay. Because like, the freaks are, like, these, um, crazy monsters or whatever, and it's, I don't know. It just, it sounds pretty cool, and I feel like I'm going to rip right through that. So, there's that. So then there are three more books on my TBR, currently. And, obviously, it's subject to change. I don't know if you've noticed, my TBR does not stay the same, but I like to try to give myself a goal. And I told you, it's the month of series. So the next three books that I would like to read in May, and yes, I did say three, so that puts me at one, two, three, four, five, six, six books. So that's like nine books in May. 
That's not bad. I've read like ten before, so that works. Um, the next three I want to read are all from the Little Chronicles, because I want to read more. I finished Cinder, and I just really want to read more, but I was in the middle of reading the Colleen Gleason books, and I really want to finish that series, so I'm just, I'm struggling here. I want to read all of them at once. So, Scarlet, and Cress, and Ferris, because I gotta read those. Um, even more so, because I want you to read them sooner, so that when winter comes out, I can buy it, and then I can read that and know what it's about. Um, and I already know where I'm at. So those are the other ones I want to read in May. That is my ambitious TBR. Um, I'm thinking Lunar Chronicles you've probably heard of. Um, I will, a brief synopsis is their retellings, um, that are in, uh, imagine, like, our world is gone and it's been changed into a world that's you know, comprised of cyborgs and, and different territories that take care of each other and, and an entire community that lives on Luna, which is the moon. <laughs> it's just some crazy people with glamour skills and stuff. It's really fascinating. It just really is. The world that was created in that is just fantastic. And the fact that that is Marissa Meyer's um, first book like she wrote that whole series or whatever like that's her first foray into writing like an actual here's a young adult novel thing I just that's cool that's just that's luck right there for your first novel to be that awesome um but I really 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 like Cinder and um that one was if you Cinder Cinderella right um that was a retelling of Cinderella I really if you have watched any of my videos, you know that I am a sucker for retelling. I love retelling. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I just, I do. They're so good. I love retelling. So, um, and sometimes they're horrible and sometimes they're great. Like, uh, like last month I read Poison and that was like fantastic. So good. Read it. It's so good. Um, but yeah, that's funny too. Just two seconds before I like close out this uh, TBR here, I read some reviews on Poison um, by Sarah Pinborough, which I read um, in April, and I loved. And they were so bad. Like people would, I never, if I had read those reviews, I never would have picked up that book. I'm so glad that it just like came to me organically, and I did not look at anything else because I would never have read that book reading those reviews. And it was st some like everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I'm like, are you kidding? How do you hate this book so much? It's so good. But I'm kind of thinking these are not people that ever read the Grimm's fairy tales, um, which is if you like fairy tales at all, even Disney, if you like fairy tales at all and you ever want to know the origin of them, get Grimm's fairy tales and read them. And if you are into anything that's a little dark and a little crazy and a little bit like what it makes you rethink how things happen. I, seriously, Grimm's fairy tales are cute. I love Grimm's fairy tales. I read my first Grimm's fairy tale when I was probably ten years old. I have always been into them. I liked Grimm's Fairy Tales, I liked Edgar Allan Poe, and I liked William Shakespeare. At a very young age, like 10, I was reading all of that all the time, and I liked classics like that. And that's how I, like, I moved into reading other things and stuff. And um, oddly enough, like, I've read very little Stephen King, even though I live in Maine, which people think is weird. And I write weird, dark things myself. Like, I just, I spent years writing that way, too. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, just a little tidbit throw out there, but it's, it's one of those things that just, I feel like if you like fairy tale retellings, if you like fairy tales in general, you need to go back to the classics and read Grimm's. Just, even if you only pick out one and read it, just, you know, just read it just to get the sense of, this is where all of that comes from. Because that's one of the, one of the places where fairy tales, um, that we're used to started was Grimm's fairy tales. And then there are like Aesop's fables and, um and things like that, and, like, you can go into, like, different cultures and find theirs, like, Briar Rose is, like, from a different country, and it's just craziness, they're all, they're all nuts, but, yeah, if you want a suggestion for one that's totally different from, like, how you're used to hearing it, get the original Little Mermaid and, and check that one out, because that's not the same, no, crazy pants different, it's awesome, <laughs> it's so good, too, I love it, um, I might be crazy for that, but that's, that's me. That's the kind of stuff I like. I like to talk about anyway. It's just fun. Um, if I do get through all of these, and I have said this for months now, if I do get through all of these, I do want to read the last two books in the Black Hope Enigma series because I am, like, itching to read those. I bought them to read them right away, and then I got into another series and then another series. And, uh. So those ones, and they're short. They're, like, so I think they're, like, 250, 300 pages each. So those ones I know I can fly through anyway. I flew through the first book. 
day and a half. So, yeah. That is my TBR. That is what's happening. I like it. I do. I don't know how this just ended up being 15 minutes, probably because I just babbled. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I talked about that many books. We're going to edit. We're going to see. Ooh, eh. Expect two videos. Anyway, so thank you for um, chilling and checking out my TBR. What are you reading this month? Are you reading any of these books? Are we going to read them at the same time? That could be fun. Um, other than my TBR tonight, because obviously she is. She's reading off with me. Um, yeah. So like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more uh let me know if you're reading any of the same books because that's cool if you have any questions or anything like that go ahead and leave them below all my social media stuff is on the bottom there if you want to check out what i'm doing on instagram and stuff instagram is a lot of pictures of food and books really <laughs> like it's probably more food than anything else i take pictures of everything i bake um but yeah so yeah yep yep uh -huh, uh -huh. um uh, that's really all of that <laughs> i don't know an interesting mood today. Um, yeah, have an awesome day. Happy reading to you. Uh, as always, if you have any suggestions for things I should read or check out or anything like that, go ahead and leave it below because I am all for suggestions and that is how I get into 9 million series in one month. <laughs> so yeah, I shall see you next time.